Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here. Today we're going to be talking about Sneasler from a competitive look. I know that Pokemon Legends Arceus does not have competitive Pokemon. I I'm well aware that I cannot battle in that game. However, this is looking at Sneasler in future games, potentially Gen 9 or whatever DLC of old Pokemon games or whenever we're actually able to use this Pokemon in your standard Pokemon game. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Let me know your thoughts on Sneasler down below as well as Hisui and Sneasel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm all the way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. I upload Pokemon videos every single day. And if you like Pokemon content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, speaking of subscribing, there's someone else here with me that you should probably check out as well. MV, if you want to introduce yourself. Hello, hello. What's poppin'? I am the Lord Envy himself. I do a lot of the same stuff that Joey does on Showdown, and I use very, very heat Pokemon as well. And I use a lot of sets that Joey would not dare use. Okay. I do use them, though. <laughs> and Eevee spreads, I should say. Okay. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, definitely check out Envy's channel, link will be down below. We also do a Showdown Live that's coming out later today as well, so stay tuned for that. Now, Sneasler, unlike Weavile, is poison and fighting. Initially, what do you think about poison fighting type, Envy? Poison fighting, it's, a, it's actually a really cool typing. So, like, when I first started competitive, actually, um, back in Gen 5, there was one of the teams that I was using, which was, like, a rain Toxicroak team, and so it really reminds me of Toxicroak, yeah. in, in a way, because of the poison fighting. And um, it's a really interesting type change from the dark ice that regular Weavile is. I mean, it it's gains a bunch of resistances, right? Resistance to mm -hmm. fighting, resistance to poison, resistance to rock, resistance to bug, resistance to grass, resistance to dark. And previously, it was only resisted from that list, dark, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's it's really cool because, like, you know how the fighting type, of course, always struggles versus those fairies. But then you got the poison typing as well. Yeah, like, to help you out exactly. Right mm -hmm. And also more comparing it to Toxic Croak, it's faster as well because it's like just like uh, mm -hmm. Weavile. Uh, though it is slightly slower than Weavile, but we'll get into that in a sec. I do want to say, though, I think this is a, a miss in terms of design, personally. Uh, his Sui and Sneasel looks really cool, and I didn't think it was possible to make the Sneasel-Weavile line not look cool. But this guy, and specifically their shiny, it looks kind of like the Grinch. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, that is not... Yo, let me tell you, bro. There is no miss on the design when you see that little box behind it. With yeah, that's not the design. That's just the eyes. box that he's carrying for whatever reason. Too glowing but, eyes. but yeah, so Poison Fighting is pretty cool. Um, we're going to compare it to, uh, to Weavile in a sec, but first we're going to look at its ability. So we have Pressure, uh, which is fine. Usually Pressure is better on bulkier Pokemon, but Pressure is pretty cool because it allows you to see um, which Pokemon is faster. Uh, by that I mean that if my opponent has a Tapu Lele and I have a Sneasler, if my Pressure activates after their Psychic Terrain, that means that they're a Choice Scarf, so I got to get out of there. If my Pressure activates before, that means I'm faster than them and I can probably knock them out with Poison Jab, so that's okay. But I do think the really good ability is Poison Touch. When the Pokemon attacks its opponent with a move that causes physical contact, there's a 30% chance that the target is poison. This coupled with poison jabs, 30% chance to poison is effectively, what is that, 51% chance of, of like the odds of poisoning the opponent? So that's really yeah, it's, cool. It's much higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's really, really cool. I think it's effectively like 51. Uh, that's the probability with that. I don't know. But that's really nice because Pokemon that can obviously come in on this, uh, the first one that comes to mind is like Landers, right? Because Landers resists poison, it resists fighting. But if that Mon gets poisoned, that Mon is, that's that's unrecoverable. That's a damage that that Pokemon is taking turn per turn. And that's not only with poison type attacks. There's a 30% chance with any contact move, just like close combat, that's something it can get. Uh, before we look at its move pool, let's compare it to Weavile. So uh, maybe you want to talk about a little bit of the differences if you want. I have them both right here. Yeah, absolutely. So with Weavile... It is actually a bit faster, five points to be exact. So it's base 125 speed, which is definitely um, a noticeable difference in comparison to Sneasler, which I think Sneasler is now as fast as um, Alakazam. Yeah. Whereas Weavile is actually faster. Regular Weavile is faster. Um, and then, of course, Sneasler actually having a higher base attack stat than Weavile. Yeah, just, uh, just so a little bit actually... up there, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. 130 versus uh, 120. Yeah. I like that a lot. Higher yep. HP too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, higher HP as well, but lower defenses. So I guess it kind of kind of balances out a little bit, I guess, in that regard, because you know you have a ten higher HP, but then five lower defenses each. So yeah. it's like those stats are kind of like pretty balanced out, I yeah. guess. I and would... then of course a nice base forty special attack usable <laughs> with. <laughs> I knew you were gonna talk about that. I knew that's what I was trying to say something before you said that. I knew you were gonna talk about that. Uh, I do want to note that it kind of sucks that this Pokemon is slower than uh, Weavile because. Since it is slower than Weavile, it is, like Envy touched on, uh, speed times with Alakazam, which is pretty bad for a fighting poison type. 
Uh, and mm -hmm. it also is slower than Tornado's Therian, which I would have loved for this Pokemon to be faster than it and just threaten it with a 2 KO from like Bandit Poison Jab. Uh, but nonetheless, I still think this Pokemon has a lot of potential and I like the ability to have a fast and strong Toxicroak. And if we actually look at its move pool, it has some really good moves too. So um, the big ones that I, I put up there are Poison Jab and Close Combat. So it having Stab, Close Combat's awesome. That's actually something that Toxicroak does not have. I think it gets it in Pokemon Legends Arceus though, but... Uh, I, I was I gonna mention uh, Dire Claws actually. Like yeah. that move is there, um, so it of course has the effect of, uh, I guess, critical hits as well as potential poison paralysis or sleep or something. Kind of like a, like a really interesting yeah try yeah. attack or something. So and, its effect has fifty percent chance to happen apparently according to this, which is wild, right? Which, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has a high and that pair with like poison yeah, yeah the poison uh, touch. Whew. Yeah, yeah, it's Crazy. really nasty. It's really nasty. So you can either poison them, you can paralyze them, or their version of sleep, which is drowsy. I don't know if drowsy will remain in the other games. I have a video talking about that in the future. What my thoughts on that? But I think Dire Claw is pretty cool. Maybe even like on scope lens sets could be cool as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if this Pokemon ends up getting like focus energy as well, let me see if Weavile gets does not get focus. It does get. Uh, this does have focus energy. This one. This um. one specifically. Yeah, so like in the move, oh, it I, see, move I see it right there. Attack. I see it right there. Yeah, I see focus mm -hmm. energy. Awesome. Awesome. So, we do see focus energy there. Uh, I don't know how often Dire Claw is going to be ran because, I mean, if it if it stays 50%, then it definitely will be ran, right? Period. Mm -hmm. That's a 50% chance to get a secondary effect in your opponent. That's awesome. That is that is one of the highest we've ever seen for three spe uh, secondary attacks, like ever. Yeah. Because try attack is way less, effect spore as an ability is still way less than 50%. So that's a pretty nice one. And on top of that, you can crit the opponent. I really like that. And if we look at its other moves, uh, a few things that come to mind are the ability to bulk up. So bulk up and Swords Dance, uh, obviously regular Sneasel can, uh, and Weavile can Swords Dance, but they can't bulk up. So bulk up is pretty cool. Uh, while it doesn't have the best defense, 60, I mean, it forces switches, right? It's going to be a fast Pokemon that forces switches. So the ability to raise your attack and defense and be able to take those priority moves, I think is really nice for this Mon too. Uh, Drain Punch, I think is pretty cool too for some recovery. And is there anything else that you see that looks like worth mentioning? I see uh, Power Shift, but I don't think that's worth it on this Pokemon at all. Unless you want to try Maybe, to get that special um... attack stat going. <laughs> hmm. I could see maybe... Hmm. Iron Tail. I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I don't think I will. False swipe so they get to one HP. Okay, yeah, that's that's yeah. If you're catching Pokemon, sure. If you're catching Pokemon, but uh, overall, I like its move set, and I think the yeah. uh, one other thing that I want to talk about is Toxicroak has the exact same typing, and a few moves that we might see Sneasler get that Toxicroak has are. Ice Punch, and I think Ice Punch is very likely. I mean, look where the hell you catch this Pokemon, right? You catch it in the snow. Exactly. Yeah. I think Ice Punch is very likely, and obviously that'd be amazing for Landorus and uh, Garchomp and things like that. Though Garchomp obviously have close combat to a KO. Uh, you think it'll get knock off as well? Possibly. Like, I feel like when this thing hits the main series games and, what, and whatnot, it's going to expand its move pool quite a bit. A lot, I'm pretty yeah. sure, like, with tutors and all kinds of stuff like that, I'm sure it's going to it's gonna definitely expand its move pool. Though with the um, tutors so being the, the main punch. game, with the tutors, because remember how Sword and Shield gave us the, the move, uh, like, the move tutors with that as well, the technical records mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, but previously to that, the first version of the game didn't usually give move tutors, and the second version did. Do you think that will get them immediately? Because I feel like that'd be amazing for this mod, right? Because I'd run close combat, right, right. poison job, uh, ice punch for sure. Like yeah. I feel like ice punch fight, like the elemental punches and stuff. They've always been like kind of like oh, like you go to this person and like you, you yeah. teach it to them kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. And I, as a fighting type, I feel like it's very likely that it has access to those. Mm. Um, but we'll obviously see. I think obviously ice punch will make it super super strong. And um, being fighting type, it also resists dark, which I think is a really big thing for this Pokemon, considering how good Weavile is. But uh, Weavile can still knock it out with Triple Axel, so that's something you want to worry about too. Um, but yeah, in in terms of uh, you want to talk a little bit about what this means for Sneasler too, or Sneasel Junior right here, little Hisuian Sneasel. Ooh, Hisuian Sneasel. Let me see here. Sneasel has really good stats. Same uh, like one fifteen speed, ninety five attack. Like Sneasel is still a good Pokemon. Yeah. Compare this to Sneasel real quick. Yeah, so like this thing is uh it's like, oh it's pretty much it's the exact same stats, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Exact same stats. Just a different typing. We have uh poison touch as well. Um as the different ability from Sneasel's pickpocket. So I guess like this thing actually is gonna be really strong. Um I mean no way it's gonna be like little cup or anything like that. It's gonna be like how you'd expect Sneasel, I guess, with the if it, if it has the same kind of 
fighting poison. So maybe maybe like uh, I guess Krogunk similar similarly to Krogunk, I guess. But if this thing can run a Violet, dude, like that. that yeah, would be really I mean, it, it would definitely. Like, I mean, like I was I was trying to note that like regular Sneasel usually takes the role of Weavile in lower tiers. It's fast. Mm -hmm. It has Ice Shot priority for dragons. It will run a Violet. It will run Heavy Duty Boots. It will run Choice Band. So I think that like his Sui and Sneasel can do the same exact thing. And if it has access to bulk up, you know, it would be one of the fastest fighters uh, with access to that, right? You know, as fast as Terrakion and things above, like, below that. So, mm -hmm. it's fast and lot yeah. This doesn't get Dire Claws, right? I don't think it does. Uh, we can actually look at it. I don't think it does either. I will click on it right now, though, and see. Uh, so, if we look at its Pokemon Shining, I do not see Dire Claw. It does... Oh, let me look at it here. Uh, we do see Swords and still. We do see Poison Jab. I don't see Dire Claw. Um, that's standard level up. That's a Sui Inform level up. So standard level up. We're not looking at that. Move shop moves. No, that's not for this Pokemon in particular. Is that for this Pokemon? Wait, hold up. Move shop. It says move shop moves. Oh, okay, yeah, I was looking at Ice Punch. Like, no, this mod does not get Ice Punch. So maybe it actually won't get Ice Punch, dude, because the move, the shop, regular Sneasel was also in uh, P, uh, uh, Legends Arceus, if you didn't know. So Jota Sneasel there. Right. Oh, oh, and, they're both in it. Yeah, I believe you get uh, Jodo Sneasel in the distortion uh, things. So. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught that. Mm -hmm. So maybe this Pokemon won't get Ice Punch because regular Sneasel gets it and it's right here, but this one doesn't have it. So that actually, I think, makes a big difference and also means that it's not going to be overall broken, uh, because a fast mod like that with the ability to hit Lando for super effective damage is pretty big. But I still think mm -hmm. that Dire Claw will for sure be ran on every single set. But yeah, I, I'm oh, just, definitely. Yeah. I'm just thinking that like this Sneasel, this Sui and Sneasel will definitely be good in lower tiers. Um, I really wish, and this is something like, at least from like a 6v6 Smogon perspective, I really wish we were, we had the ability to run, uh, you know, regular Sneasel plus this Sneasel. But the good thing is, this is Sneasler and Weavile. So we can actually use both of them on the same team. Use both. Mm -hmm. they, they don't break Species Claws at all. Like you could run, yep, exactly. And they pair really That's well together. That's actually really cool. Yeah, they pair really well together too. Like, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like yeah, because they don't share any of the same typings or like the weaknesses, like because one resists fighting, the other is weak to fighting. Um, this one absorbs T spike. This one is immune to psychic. This one's weak to psychic. One of them this and if one and if this one doesn't get ice punch for some reason, one of them destroys Gliscor or Lando and Lando T, and this one destroys can steals. Just have fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This one destroys steel. So they actually pair really well together. They I think that's, yeah, they complement really well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I really like that typing. I I truly enjoy that typing. Uh, I feel like if it was like a choice band set, and let's say it doesn't have access to Elemental Punch, and if it doesn't get Knockoff later, which I kind of hope it does, uh, definitely Close Combat, Poison Jab, Dire Claw, and then Knockoff is what I'd be looking at. I don't think X Scissor is good enough cover. I don't think, like, yeah. Bug isn't like the best coverage, right? Like, you'll have it on Volcarona because it's strong. Uh, you'll have Bug on U turn moves because it's U turn, right? Not because it's Bug. Yeah. It's just like, this thing doesn't need to deal with grasses or anything like that. You have Poison Jab and whatnot. Exactly. So. exactly. Like, I could already think of like five or six sets with this thing. Like, let's let's run it. Swords Dance, bulk Banded, up, Banded, Bulk Up, mm -hmm. and then. And then you have Focus, focus yeah. Energy Set. Yeah, Focus yeah. Energy be there. You could do Life Orb, life uh, orb Four Attacks. Yeah. Like, Life Orb, Four Attacks could do the exact same thing. If you want to be crazy, mm -hmm. you could do a Power Shift with Special, but I think that's terrible. Um. Soft is offensive and defensive stats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that'd make it better. Actually, no, it would. On the special, it gets base seventy five special attack. Yeah, so it would actually. Oh, have... with calm mind. Base eighty, mind, base eighty special attack, bro. Uh, using calm mind on this mon is not the wave at all. You're not gonna use calm mind sludge bomb focus blast. I'm sorry. Like if you're gonna use like in that scenario, if you're gonna use like an, uh, an offensive poison fighting, use Tox Grove. Tox Grove has nasty plot and actually the special attack stat to do it without having to do things like that. Yo, think of this set, bro. Right. Listen to this set, right? Black Sludge, Sub Dire Claws Protect. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you completely. Uh, that's something that came to yeah. mind. Like, Sub Dire Claw, or even if it does get toxic, Sub Toxic Protect Close Combat, dude. Like, that'll be everything that's not Toxic You know what I mean? Like, it'll allow it to. It's like Salazzle, but with Close Combat. Salazzle, I was about to say Salazzle 2.0. Yep. Yeah. So that's actually a really interesting thing, too. I think Sub and I think Protect sets can be really cool. If it does get toxic as well, because it's a poison type. Uh, and, you know, the Toxic TM for them, uh, maybe. That'd be something that could be really nice for this Pokemon, too. Uh, just a little... Uh, it's kind of similar to how Zeraora will run, like, Plasma Fist, Knock Off, Close Comet, and sometimes if they don't want to run Volt Switch, they'll run Toxic to hit Lanterns and things, and that'll allow it to do its thing as well. And, of course, all at the same time, I'll have Poison Touch, too. So, 
I think there's for sure a lot that can be do, uh, done about this Pokemon. I think it is a really, really good compliment. Like it compliments Weavile all really well, like we were mm -hmm. saying. And uh, do you have any last words on this Pokemon? I just love the eyes behind it. That's not the I'm Pokemon, though. That's flying. you. That's that's your eyes. <laughs> Dude, what if they okay, so what if they actually have a form of Sneasler? What if there's a form of Sneasler that you could use in the game where it's like you jump into the box <laughs> and command it and whisper? But, like like Zaruda, like Zaruda. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's not gonna be. That's not gonna be a thing. But guys, let us know your thoughts on Sneezer. I think it's uh, has like a lot of potential. I think it's gonna be really good. What do you think? I think it's actually gonna be great. I I feel like, like if I mean if we do get some certain coverage, because right now like right now with its whatever attacks it can have, there's a lot that can really wall it. Yeah. I feel like it'd be like, are you slash you or whatever. But if it gets the coverage and stuff like this speed, this attack and everything, and like its potential, and if Dire Claws is actually like yeah. as good as it. Yeah, 50% is, it, is mm -hmm. insane. Like 50% chance I, to paralyze, yeah. like, bro, that's almost Jirachi level body slam. Like that's insane. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a really, really good Pokemon. Um, Agreed. Agreed. To use competitively. Like in Arceus, of course, we can't really say like, you know, um, we can't really measure the competitiveness of the Pokemon, but we can see the stats. We can see like all that kind of stuff. So that in a future game, I feel like this thing is gonna be really good. I agree. I agree. I think it's going to be sick. So, guys, let's mm -hmm. know your thoughts. Uh, I, I Even if it doesn't get Ice Punch, I think if it gets Knock Off, that'd be great. Like, just the ability to get rid of Leftovers of Landorus mm -hmm. or, or the Ground Size, plus poisoning them while doing it, too. Like, there's a lot of situations where I think that'd be really cool. But let us yeah. know your thoughts down below. Make sure you subscribe to me. Subscribe to my boy Envy. His channel link will be down below. Feel free to check out his uh, merch as well. He got a lot of cool stuff on his channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, my friends, because I did do a video with Envy that comes out later today where we're using exactly, Masquerade. Exactly. So, peace, guys. <laughs> peace.